In this video, we will see how to create packages in SAP. So let us see the agenda for this session. So first we will be covering what exactly package builder is and then we will see the steps to create packages. And then we will see the task of a particular package builder and followed by types of packages. So now let's move on to the next slide which is package builder. So what exactly package builder is? A package builder is a tool which is used to implement the concept of a package. So basically what it does, it is just creating a particular package in a in the work, a web workbench. Moreover, this package is a development object which acts as a container just to store all the development objects inside it. And then we can also create this development classes. Moreover, we can transfer this existing development objects into different different packages. These packages are basically created by the basis consultants or maybe the team lead and this can be used to move to the TR. Now in the next slide we are just seeing the steps to create package. So first we have to go to SC21 which is the package builder screen. We have the T code as package and or SC21 we can provide. Moreover we have to provide a custom name. So for custom name we have to provide start with Z or Y. So here suppose let us say this is the custom name that we are given Z underscore custom underscore package. Now just click on create and then you have to provide a short description and then you have to press enter two or three times. Then just click on save and our package will be created. So this way we can create our package. So here I have shown you a screenshot. So here we have just selected the radio button and we have also given the custom package name. We have to just click on create. So then our custom pack package will be created. So these are the some of the task of a package builder. Basically what it does, it creates a package or a sub package. Moreover, it, it specifies a package hierarchy and it also defines the package interfaces for potential user. We can move the different elements into particular package interfaces. So these all are the steps or the basic task of a particular package builder. Now moving on to the next slide, here we can see types of packages. So packages are of two types that is provider packages and user packages. So provider packages provides our development elements such as BAPIs, classes and methods or function modules and these provider packages perform two tasks basically to create a package and to create and to define a package hierarchy and the main purpose of this task is to assign and to create a structure for this packages. So here we are just cre creating a structure for this packages and this is happening similarly in the user packages. So similar to provider package, the user package also provides a structure for the packages. So this point is basically the same. So what the difference is here? So in this case, the top level, the package hierarchy is the structure, uh, is also found by the structure package. But in the main, main package, we can see the sub packages are created. So this is the basic differences between the user package and the provider package. So now let us see practically steps to create packages. So there are two ways to create a package that is to access through SC21 T code transaction code. And the second way is to put the transaction code as S package. So here we can see the initial screen that is patch package builder screen is coming. So using both the ways that is SC21 and S package we are getting this particular screen. So here we can see there is two radio button that is package and package interface. So for in this video we will see how to create a custom package. So anything that we are creating custom we need to provide the name should be pro uh, starting with Z or Y. So let us provide the name here the custom package one so this is our name here so this we will be creating so there are three options that is display if it is already created we can display it or we can already uh, if it is already there we can change it and if it is not there we can create it so let us just create this new custom package so the package name is this we can provide a short description creating 
uh, custom package right and there are multiple other options too and for this particular session we are just providing the short description and when we are done with it we can click on this that is continue and when we are doing so we are prompted to provide the transport request name so we have provided a transport request number here we will just click on continue so on this transport request we will take another session and just let us continue here so so here we have we see our custom packages created so custom packages we are just putting our development objects into this package and moving this package with the help of a transport request into different different quality systems or maybe production system so this was about the custom package thanks for watching